Hi, Blast Pop here. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, recently I did a unboxing and commentary on the Dark Valley by GMT Games. Well, also included in the package uh, was some supplemental materials for World War II, Barbarossa to Berlin, also published by GMT. The commonality between these two games is that both games were designed by Ted Racer. Included in the Dark Valley package on one of the boards, uh, mounted boards, was a double-sided print of the World War II Barbarossa to Berlin map. And also included were new, thicker, one-and-a-half countersheets of the thicker brown core counters as opposed to the original white core as the game was originally published. So, give you a little sense of what this all looks like versus some of the items that were included in the original World War II Barbarossa to Berlin. Now, this was the original game, Barbarossa to Berlin, and it came in the Dark Valley package that I just received recently. The original map, or at least the version I have, was on cardstock, although it may have been published at one point on a um, paper map, I'm not entirely sure. And th this is good to the extent that it is a little thicker than a, a paper board, but in order to take care of the trampoline effect here, you either have to backfold the map or you have to put it under plexiglass, which kind of defeats the purpose of having the cardstock um, map. The plus is over repeated use and with counters and dice and cards and stuff on the map from time to time, it would tend to become a more flat surface. So, while a good interim solution, uh, the cardstock, I think, is a substandard option by today's standards. What you do get, or, and, and receive, is this mounted board, and it allows you to not worry about pieces flying off the board because the board bounces nice and solid the color and registration and mostly the color looks a little more bright if you compare the versions of the map and uh, a little less faded looking um, just looks a little bit nicer and sharper more modern printing techniques probably so this is the map that you receive back printed on the Dark Valley map. You receive one and a half sheets of counters. And this is the half sheet, this is the larger counter sheet. Back printed. And you will notice the thickness. with the brown core. Now comparing the German 17th Army, which is still in the upper right hand corner of this counter sheet, the coloring is less blue and more, more gray in the print. And for the sake of counter thickness, maybe a little difficult to discern difference in thickness. If you mic it up, I think you'll find that the counters on the new brown core are maybe one-third or one-quarter of greater thickness than the old white core. Here's the half-inch counter sheet. 
And these are mostly corps. The other sheet is mostly armies and army groups and such. And they fight a little bit differently, but I'm not going to get into the mechanics of the game. It's more of a show and tell to show you what the added components are that I didn't cover in the first video. What you do not get in the package are rules, game cards, or the second edition game cards. So you actually do need the original game to be able to play World War II Barbarossa to Berlin. So very nice. Um, I'm not sure how this particular arrangement was arranged by publishing the additional components within the Dark Valley. But there's no complaints on my part. It's nice to have. Um, the only downside is this map is needed for the other game. So you're not going to uh, be able to separate this map permanently and still be able to play Dark Valley. Other than that, good deal. This has been Blast Pop. Thank you. Please like comment, and subscribe. Bye.